John Laval here. Um, I had already done a video on uh, the cost of uh, electric car batteries and uh, it was about how expensive they are but <coughs> I only had addressed one car it was a smart car and uh, uh, I wanted to do another video to clarify something. Uh, this actually, this costs, uh, you'll have to incur, to, but it doesn't matter what car you bought. Uh, it's all the same. Uh, the rule of thumb is uh, now this can vary, but the rule of thumb is is uh, whatever you pay for the car, you're looking at uh, half the price of the car is what the battery is worth in replacement. So if you paid forty thousand dollars for the car, uh, you're looking at twenty thousand dollars to replace the battery, and uh, the batteries don't really have a super long life. Uh, it's not like you can drive it for 15 years or something and just trash the whole car. Uh, generally, they're done <coughs> in three years or less, and uh, and the quality of the battery is pretty well. Uh, you're losing the quality of the battery within a year or less. Um, electric cars are really not a smart idea for the purchaser. It's fine for the manufacturer. I mean, they, they they'll sell cars. They love to sell more expensive cars because. Uh, Electric cars are generally more expensive than a base car. Um, they can run you as much as uh, two and a half times, not necessarily, but depending on what vehicle you buy, you could be paying two and a half times as much. And um, when you start thinking about the fuel that the other guy, uh, how much he's paying for fuel for his little uh, car, uh, you'll find out that uh, he's up money lots of it, tons of it, especially when you replace the battery. <coughs> uh, your range on a, uh, we'll say a $20,000 battery isn't really all that significant. It's only about uh, 30,000 miles before the, the battery is poofs. And uh, if you take all the extra costs that cost you battery plus the, ex the extra expense of purchasing this vehicle, uh, uh, the other guy can drive about, uh, uh, you're looking at about 400 to 600,000, uh, miles. And, uh, and he doesn't have to find a place to plug that thing into when he's on the road. If he's going across country to the coast and he's going to do 4,000 miles, he just has to stop 300 times to recharge this thing. <laughs> he just goes to the gas station and gets some gas and he's on his way and uh, uh, that's another downside of it. Uh, and, uh, <coughs> I don't see the practicality. I mean they invented the electric car a hundred years ago. It was no good back then and it's no good today. But what I always say it's uh, your money and you spend it the way you want to spend it and uh, that's important. Uh, I'm only just offering uh, some uh, education on uh, what you might be looking at because they're not going to bring it up in the deal when you're at the deal they're not going to say hey guess what you're buying a car that's going to suck all the money out of your uh, wallet uh, for the time you own it uh, that's a deal killer isn't it <laughs> they never sell any of them so uh, anyways uh, I can only hope you didn't buy a car and if you did uh, I'm sorry uh, <coughs> I'm not here to offend you uh, I'm here to basically tell people who haven't bought the car to look into what you're doing here because uh, it's going to cost you a lot of money and uh, uh, you may change your mind. See ya.